Oh my god, this thing is direct drive. Or well, at least rim drive. Look at that. By the time you see this, Groovy will be gone. I'm going to be putting it on my um, local recycling and reuse group up for free and hopefully someone will take it. Um, and if that doesn't work, I'll put it up on eBay or maybe take it down to cash converters. So welcome to another video from CBITS Tech. The reason I'm getting rid of it is, although I love it, it's not a great player. I mean, it's okay, but it's not a great player. And I have much better systems better amps, um, I've got two sound burgers, so I don't really need, need this anymore. And it's taking up so much space, uh, but I really do love the look of it. And the reason it's called Groovy is there's a groove in the pinch roller. There was a video, I'll, show, I'll put the other videos up the top there. There was a video called Punching Groovy because the capstan um, was rusted and had a little spoke of rust coming out of it. And that was punching a hole in the cassette tape I was testing it with. Um, let's turn this light off before my phone overheats. Before I do that, I'll just show you inside here. I've got to screw this um, plate down. I was looking at how difficult it would be to take this out and replace the pinch roller. And I couldn't figure out how to replace the pinch roller, actually. I think I've got to take it out from underneath. But then I was looking for belts as well. There are no belts. It just works based on this um, roller here. I've got it plugged in. Let me see if I can uh, press play without damaging it. That's better. Here we go. So just inside there, you'll see it moving. So it pushes the gear up against that um, take-up spool. And if you go the other way, it pushes the gear up against the other one. Quite a nice design. I've not seen anything like this. I'm not, not, I've seen it on YouTube, but uh, not in person. It's quite a nice design, uh, like a mechanism. Easy to see, electric erase head. Um, but I'd really, if I'm going to use it for cassettes, I'd really need to replace the pinch roller. Other than that, the speed uh, sounds okay. I'll turn the light off, otherwise my phone will overheat. Um, so I've got to figure out, I took this off weeks ago to have a look at this. Because I was going to replace the pinch roller, but then I thought better of it. I can't remember how this goes back on again now. So it's a bit tricky to get it out of yeah. Oh, it's easier, so it's just two screws to put on, so I'm going to move the camera again. Yeah, it's a shame. If I had more space in the house, I'd probably set this up somewhere. Um, but I just haven't got the space. And I'm going to... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on my local recycling group. Somebody gave it to me on that group. And I don't like um, selling, um, selling stuff that I've been given for free. So I'd rather put it back on that group, but I don't know whether it's going to sell when I put it on that group. If it doesn't, I don't want to scrap it, obviously, because once you scrap it, it goes to electronics recycling and then uh, never seen again. So I'd rather it went to somebody who wanted it. And if no one wants it on the recycling group, the reuse and recycling group, then there's only two options. One is to put it on eBay. And eBay would be a problem, I think, because packing it is going to be quite difficult. Um, whereas the local uh, recycling group, someone will come and pick it up. So there's a cash converters that's local to me. I might take it down there and you know, just get 20 quid. I can't remember. I think I might have bought a new belt for it. So it'd be nice to recover some of that money. Hi, it's me from editing here. Within a few hours, uh, someone asked to pick up the music centre. In fact, three people asked to pick it up, but it went to the first bloke who responded, a bloke called Sai, a really cool artist, who, apart from being an artist, makes uh, natural inks from stuff he finds in the environment, and also urban inks from things like um, car exhaust systems and stuff like that for local projects. Anyway, he came to pick it up. Very interesting bloke, so thanks, Sai, for picking up. I hope you'll enjoy it. So that's it really, there's the adapter for it. There's even the original polystyrene that goes on there to stop the lid from being pushed down. But that's it, poor old Groovy, surplus to requirements, I need the space, so it's got to go. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.